Hello friends, this is our last video of the backtracking series, and today we will try to solve pseudocode solver. We'll write a program to solve a pseudocode puzzle by filling the empty cells. And the a pseudocode solution must satisfy all the following rulers. Each of the digits 1 to 9 must occur exactly once in each row. Each of the digits 1 to 9 must occur exactly once in each column. And each of the digits 1 to 9 must occur exactly once in each of the 9, 3, times 3 sub-boxes of the grid. So this is a given board and we need to fill this dot to the digit. And uh, this is our unique solution. And this problem, uh, we can assume that the given pseudocode puzzle will have a single unique solution. So let's see how to fill this board. We have the intuition that we need to fill this board one by one. Uh, we iterate from the first row and fourth column as it only has uh, 9 times 9 uh, cells. So we can just uh, do a two four loops to check whether it is empty. Once it's empty, we, we can try 1, 2, 9, right? So first we find this is the empty cell. We try to uh, fill this cell and we find uh, one is already valid because there are no one on the same column and no one on the same row and uh, no one on this sub grid. So we fail one and we go to next cell which means we will call the help, uh, help function again. We just call the backtracking function help. And then we try to fill this cell because this is the first empty cell if we start from the row 0, column 0. And then we also start from 1, 2, 9. We will find the 2 is already valid. And then we go to next uh, next place. We, we, that means we call the help function again. And OK, we can fail it as 4. And we go to next help function, we can fill it at 8, and we keep coding itself, and we can fill it at 9. But the problem is that we go to next place, we cannot fill any digit, because actually uh, of this row, we only left a 6, but we cannot fill it with 6, because in this subgrid, we already have a 6. So what should we do now? We should uh, go to the previous help function. We uh, unchoose this place, we uh, unchoose this place and reset it to a dot. So that means we need a return. If we cannot find a valid number, we should return. We should call end of this function frame, go to the previous function frame. So then, for this place, we cannot, uh, we cannot fail uh, any digits other than a 9. So we should uh, return, and we should uh, go to the previous function. And then we find uh, this place, we reset it as a dot, and we find that we can fail it as 9. And then we keep going, but we find uh, we cannot uh, put any digit in the following place. So we also need to reset it as a dot and uh, go to the previous uh, function frame. So we go here. And we need uh, we cannot uh, fill this place with a digit other than 4. So that means we, we are reach an end again. So we also need to uh, reset so on and so forth. And finally, we can fill this board. So I think the process is very smooth. We just find every empty cell and try the digit from 1 to 9, if it's valid. And if we cannot fill any digit, we just 
uh, go to the previous function frame and reset it as a dot. So I think uh, if you know the, you already solved this n queens, you know, we also need a is valid function. But in this problem, how do we know the index of the sub boxes? Uh, let's see. Actually, there are nine subgrid in the whole grid. And uh, let's uh, see this example. Uh, in this subgrid, the row index is from 0, 1, 2, 2, right? 0, 1, 2. And uh, the column index is 3, 4, 5. And that means we are if we are given a cell in this grid, we need to check all the nine cells in this subgrid. How do we get the indexes? Actually, you can treat this sub box as a single cell. What does that mean? You can treat this as nine cells. And actually, we just need an offset to get the index. This is the, you can treat it as the column offset because all the column in this box should add the three, right? Add three to get its truly, uh, truly column index. I mean, in this subgrid, their column index is zero, one, two, but they should add the three to get the, their truly column index, which is three minus, oh, but sorry, three plus zero, three plus one, three plus two. So for the three, four, five, how do we get uh, the three? You know, the, the column offset. We can use the column index, divide three times three. That means three, divide three, we get one and times three, so we get a three. And for the five, we divide the three, we get one and we times three, we still get a three. So that means for all the column index, we can get uh, the same column offset. And how about uh, we get uh, their column index in the small uh, subgrid? We can iterate from 0 to 9 and uh, we divide 3. Right? Uh, sorry, not divide, it's module because this is a column, right? This is uh, like uh, we iterate from 0 to 9 and we module 3 so we can get uh, 0, 1, 2, and we plus this 3, so we can get the scope, the true scope in the subgrid. The same thing for the row index. We use the given row index, and we divide 3 times 3. Actually, we get the row offset. In, in this case, we get the row offset of 0. And then we need to add 0, 1, 2, right? We also iterate from 0 to 9, and we divide 3 so we can get the row index in a small subset. So in total, the row index in the whole grid should be the row offset plus the row index in the small grid. So that just be the 3 times row index divided 3 plus i divide the three. So, okay, now let's write the code. Actually, uh, it's just a, you know, the minor difference as the uh, queens. And we can call the help function. Okay. So now let's write uh, the help function. Charboard. Okay as we only need to find a valid uh, solution. So once we have a valid solution, we just uh, return. In the n queens, we need to try every possible uh, possibilities because we need to generate all the solutions. In this case, once we have a valid solution, we just return. Actually, many problems have this feature. We just need to check whether we have a uh, solution. So we can use a boolean return value. Once we have it, once we have a true, we just return true. 
so you will notice that. And then we just iterate this nine times nine board. Once we have an empty cell, we just fill it. So if this board i j equal to the dot, <coughs> we try the chart start, uh, we call it number, start from one, and number less or equal than nine, and number mm, plus plus. So if it's valid, the board i j number is valid, we fill this place as a number. And the once we can reach the end, that means if helper board is true, we return true. We find a, a we find a valid solution. Otherwise, we unchoose it. We reset it to the dot. And uh, let's recall the n queens. How do we return the previous function frame? If we cannot find a valid number to fail it, that means for this for loop, we cannot find a, a valid place, right? So we just uh, uh, go to this place. But we do not write uh, the return because it just uh, end. And we return to the previous function frame. So we go to this, this line. But in this place, we need uh, um, we need a, a return, return line, because once we cannot find a, a valid number to fail in this place, we need a return. We call the end of this function, so we need a return false. If we do not write this return line, we will just go to the next place. We will go this for loop, or we just go to the last line. We just return true. But this return to only valid when we fill all the cells in the for loops. So that um, if we can fill all the places, we just return to. Okay, this is a help function. Do not forget this line. Okay, so now let's write uh, the boolean is valid char board and uh, row column. Uh, number. So we just iterate from 0 to 9, i++. Plus plus. So if uh, you know the same column, the same column change the ro uh, rows equal to number, we return false. And the same row, which means different columns, uh, there will be the row column equal to number will return false. And then for the same grid board, we get the offset. That will be 3 times row divide 3. And add the row index in the small box. That will use i divide 3. And how about the column index? That will be 3 times Column divide three. This is the column offset, and plus this column in the small subgrid. That will be i module three. If it is equal to number, we return false. Otherwise, we return true. And help board, we can fail it. Um. Oh, sorry. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.